Hey everybody, this is Les Butler, publisher of Singing News Magazine. And uh, this probably isn't a news flash to you, but Southern Gospel Cares. Now let me tell you a little bit about that. Of course, anytime anyone in our industry uh, goes down for some reason, there's a, there's a hardship of some kind. We all try to rally together and help and bless uh, that particular person or family like we did for the bowlings uh, a few years back. And uh, right now, our friend Tracy Stuffel is in need of our help. And so we can help bless Libby and Tracy. And southerngospelcares.com is a place where you can go to help them. Here's what you will find when you get there. You will find two ways that you can help Tracy and Libby financially. One is if you sign up for the Singing News credit card. Now here's what's going to happen. Every time you use that card, say you use your, your credit cards to uh, get fuel in your vehicles every month. Every time you go to fuel that vehicle, you're going to help Libby and Tracy. If you use the Singing News credit card, uh, you go out to dinner, put it on the Singing News credit card. And the residual income that uh, comes from the use of the credit card over the next 12 months will be going to Libby and Tracy 100%. And another way you can also uh, help them is with a one-time donation, which you will also find at southerngospelcares.com. So we want you to uh, think uh, about maybe doing both of those things to help bless uh, Libby and Tracy as Tracy continues to um, uh, convalesce and to get better from his stroke. He has a long, long way to go. And of course, the third thing you can do, and you don't have to go to southerngospelcares.com to uh, bless the Stuffles, pray for them. I know you have been. I challenge you to continue to pray for them every day. Put them on your church prayer list, your personal family uh, prayer list, and uh, continue to pray for the Perrys and Libby and Tracy. Right now, here's a few words from our friend, Ben Isaacs. Tracy, um, I, I, I probably know him better than most anybody in my family just because we have a lot in common uh he is um has, has always been very um uh he, he would have come to me a lot and ask my advice on things dealing with blood sugar diabetes you know he went through that whole thing a few years ago where he couldn't get his blood sugar under control and ben what do you what do you need to do which really made us close um, because we had, you know, not, music is, is a funny thing because if you have somebody who is dealing with the same things you are, you're automatically bond. You know, it's, I think it's like life in general. And but you have um, diabetes, so. I do have diabetes. And uh, Tracy was, was a very um, inquisitive to me, uh, and it, which just made us really close. And we spent a lot of time talking about health and, 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 and where we are and why, why I choose to do certain things and so on and so forth and it just it has really it really has hit me hard where he's at right now because you know that could be any of us at any point um, you know and I just I really feel for him and, and for his family and, and, and not only the sickness side of it but the, the lack of um, him being able to work and be able to take care of his responsibilities as, as life and, and his burdens. And you know, I think that I think that he's mentally aware of it. And and I know that, that Libby is you know, Libby's like, you know, whatever, it's it's all God's. But then again, you know, us as Christians, I think this is the time that we stand up and say, Okay, this is this is why we are who we are. 